Every day at our island home is sprinkled with a little magic and a little sweat. I do my own betting stunts. Last episode, Joey tried his hand at decorating a room all by himself. Oh my gosh. And the resounding feedback from you was that he did amazingly. Oh my gosh. I totally agree. Good job, Joey. And now we have the studio bedroom done and we are welcoming our first guest, the one, the only, my little sister, Tess. I'm so excited to relax. While she thinks she's coming for a vacation, I have other creative plans for her. <laughs> I'm Kate. I'm Joey. I'm Mike. And we're Mr. Kate. Surfboard. Right? He did love, a good love, job. love, 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 love. The wallpaper looks so, so serene. Good. So you're going to be very comfortable wow. in here. There's luggage racks. Give me your bag. Because I also have a. Sit down, please. <laughs> oh. Are you so excited to be on I'm vacation? so excited to relax and just like chill and. Watch well, the sunset. about that, we have so many spaces to do. If you've been watching our channel for a while, you know how many rooms we've decorated with Tess. I just love being creative with her. So yes, she's visiting. Yes, I'm putting her to work, but I'll make sure she has a pina colada while we work. Compromises. You know what would be so fun for your vacation? I'm gonna put you to work. To have a really cute, like, pool cabana to hang out in. Yeah! I would love a pool cabana. Is it done? No, it's currently a rusty shack. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so this might be like the ugliest space in I don't know, and around the house. Light. Yeah, that's the vibe. This is like the only shaded spot. I think we use some of the patio furniture that we have up there. Do you want to keep that couch? Like that will build some legs for this. No. Let's just like white it out. Paint the ground. If we like taped out like a cool shape, just spray it. What if it. you paint just those? <gasps> Pink or yes. Green. Yes. I love that we have such a blank palette around the pool. I mean, yeah. Okay, it's really run down. We need to renovate out here, but until then, let's just have fun with this. Not hold back. Do something really kind of kooky. Because why not? Maybe bring in like some astroturf, like under the furniture. Mm -hmm. What if we did one of those signs at the beach? You know, they have the boards, and one pointing this way, this way, this way, this way. One of these poles. Oh, that's so cute. I like like the nautical. Idea, and then we have this, which so obviously pool equipment's in here, but we could do like what counter buoys, <gasps> buoys, love buoys. We have the rope, right? Rope, sisters challenge, cabana cuties. Here we go. <laughs> I thought you guys did this professionally. <laughs> we do. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. We're really gonna lean into like the 60s cabana vibe, paint out the ground, make it just like very glowy in there, but then pops of color, astroturf, all that. Obviously cabana a lot of times has curtains, but the wind here on the island is no joke. So we're not gonna mess with putting up any curtains because it's just gonna be like a flappy situation. I can't wait to spray that. Go away, you don't want this paint. Jump down, jump down, jump down. Jump down. First step in prepping for paint, we are removing the geckos and we're going to be using a paint sprayer because we are going to be painting the floor as well, so we're not really worried about overspray. All right, do, do we get it? <laughs> Meaning what? Do I have to paint it now? <laughs> yeah, where's where the people that jump in? No, I'm Thank you, Joey. 
All right, here's what we're working with. It's okay, so nice. here's our blues. Some YouTubers have closets full of fabulous clothes. I have a closet full of used paint. This is the one I'm sort of feeling. Got any pinks in there? Purple. That's pretty, I like that one. This is that. love and happiness. This is the, the one you Bathroom? Have. Yeah. Favorite pink. I like that. This pink. one? Yeah. Yeah, cute. I think those two Those are good. Pink. Okay. I've never dropped cloth to pool before. love how the handles look painted. That was such a good idea on Tessa's part. Sometimes when you have something that's like a dated eyesore, you just have to like embrace it and kind of go with the theme as opposed to trying to like distract away from it. Gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> I thought it would be fun in addition to the white paint on the ground to also add some colorful shapes. We're just freehand painting these. And then later we're going to add some cutouts of AstroTurf to just further add like the 60s retro vibe. We got it for $20. So we're trying to figure out what we're painting, and we're gonna do a sun first. first. This is such a fun DIY for a shower. We just took an old surfboard, we drilled a hole for the shower head, stuck that in, and then we're gonna attach it to the hose bib that's already down by the pool, which is just gonna be a super cute way to just, you know, turn it on, do a quick little rinse off before or after you go in the pool. It's just the vibe. Anna. You want to be the waiter and bring us drinks by the pool when this is all done? Okay, let's let's paint a moon right here, okay? Okay. Here, I'm gonna draw a circle of what sorts. What does that look like? That's a cupcake. What? <laughs> so we're working on these fun handmade signs that Joey cut. This is Mauka, which means to the mountains. And we're gonna do a Makai, which means to the ocean. And then we're also doing like other things like Los Angeles, because that's where TT's from. Well, I did that because I wanted you guys to remember. We'll remember. And then, of course, very important, ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I love the signpost DIY. It's so budget friendly. We're literally using scraps of wood we've had from other projects. Joey cut them into just like irregular shapes, kind of arrow looking, but totally imperfect. We're using some acrylic paint to paint them out. I mean, do it. Do it in your house, on your balcony. Point to your grandma's house in the supermarket, whatever. Such a cute idea. These flamingos didn't come with legs. Why? It's an add-on. No. It's like guacamole. <laughs> you gotta pay extra. <laughs> but flamingos, the whole point is they have long legs. Should we use sticks? Yeah, one leg each. Budget flamingos. We could say they're- You only get one leg. We could hang them. <laughs> what? <laughs> we stopped at the marine store and got some really fun styling items, buoys and rope and life rings, which we're painting with a stripe of paint to hang on the back wall. We've also got this round shelf thing that we're gonna use as like a little bar cart against the shed and we also got some wooden oars at the marine supply store and we're gonna use those as decor on the front of the shed that is otherwise <laughs> falling over but looks really cute now with the stripes and the oars. I 
loved how it turned out. We really didn't spend long on this project because obviously we wanted Tess to like relax, do, have fun, hang out with Moon, all that stuff. But it's just such a fun space now. It was so much fun working with my little sister. I love being creative with her. So hopefully she uh, will come back soon and help us some more. I'm sorry I put you to work while You know what, I thought it was gonna be more fun than it actually was. <laughs> but I'm glad, I'm just kidding. I have so much fun No, she's this. not kidding. <laughs> well, now we, now we have a really fun hangout We can always space. count on Tess for honesty. No, but it's so cute. I'm obsessed with AstroTurf. I wanna put it all over my body. <laughs> Give this video two thumbs up if you liked it. Yeah, yay to Sisters Challenge. Subscribe. Thank you, TT, so much comment, for helping. Leave your comments below. I'm extending her trip. We've got lots more to do. She's way too much help. So, uh, nope. yep. Yes, I will be nope. mm -hmm. changing nope. your flight. Yeah, yeah. It's easy. It's online. No way. Super, just a click no of a button. No chance. Mm -hmm. Nope. Coming up on Mr. Kate Takes on Paradise. <laughs> Whoa. That was actually impressive. So goal is to make this space our office. The tub is working. Moon is taking a bath in here tonight, and I'm joining him. You're invited too. Heck, we can all fit in this. Oh, easily. I don't know much about breadfruit, but is it supposed to be like bubbling? <laughs> <laughs>